Hi guys, it's Michelle and today's video is going to be yet another Mandela Effect video for you guys. Y'all know I love the Mandela Effect. I don't care. A lot of people sometimes comment being like, why do you still do these videos? I think they're fun. It's fun to just laugh and talk about stupid things that don't matter. I like it. It's like a nice break from some of the other darker conspiracy videos that I do. So I'm down for it. Without further ado, let's get into the Mandela Effects. All right, the first two Mandela Effects are ones that I've made up on my own. I think. I mean, I don't know if anyone's ever talked about them, but they're not ones that I've been sent or that I've seen personally. A lot of you guys send me Mandela effects, especially on TikTok now that it's popping off over there. But nonetheless, these two I just have noticed throughout the years and um, felt like we needed to talk about them. The first one is Judy B. Jones. I loved Judy B. Jones as a kid. Like, I was obsessed with these books, loved them so much was like the only books I was willing to read. I remember there being a Judy B. Jones movie. Does anyone else feel like this? Like I can't tell you who played her. I couldn't tell you what it looked like. I actually feel like I visualized it as a cartoon and maybe I just had such a vivid imagination as a kid. So that's why I wanted to know. This is more of a question rather than a statement Mandela effect. I want to know if you guys remember that, like a Judy B. Jones movie. I personally really do. Again, not 100% sure if it's just me because like I said, I have a very vivid imagination. Maybe when I was reading the books, I like created a little movie in my head. Totally possible, but I do feel like I actually remember seeing one. A genuine Judy B. Jones movie. And honestly, the fact that it doesn't exist is kind of frustrating because I feel like it should. Like there's obviously like Ramona and Beezus has a movie. I don't know, but I think it should exist regardless. But please, please let me know what you remember on that one. All right, the next Mandela effect is Sour Gummy Worms. I love a sour candy. I love like a chewy, like gummy vibe. I don't really love chocolate like that. So sour gummy worms like used to be my favorite candy when I was a kid. I was obsessed. And I always remember the blue and red sour gummy worm being flavored blue raspberry and like red cherry. Always, like 100%, it used to be my favorite flavor because those two flavors are probably my favorite. I always thought this and I was 100% sure that this was true. I even tweeted about this in like 2019 or something, but I don't think I ever talked about it in a video, but I remember sour gummy worm red and blue being blue raspberry and cherry flavor. However, it has always been grape and strawberry flavor. I hated grape flavored anything as a kid. I kind of vibe with it now, but as a kid, I was not my vibe. And I, I would have definitely, definitely remembered if a gummy worm that was my favorite gummy worm was flavored grape and strawberry. There's just no way in hell. There's just no way. So please let me know what you guys remember. I mean, it's literally blue and red. Like I don't even understand. This is like the classic trolley gummy worms. So I'm sure I will not be alone on this one, but let me know what you guys remember. The next Mandela effect I saw on a TikTok and it's all about the Arthur theme song. Arthur used to be one of my favorite shows as a kid. Um, my parents used to call me DW. It was like a thing. Honestly, I used to take offense to that, but now it's such a compliment. Like if someone referred to me as DW now, I'd be like, yeah, icon. I remember the theme song of Arthur being, hey, what a wonderful kind of day where we can learn to laugh and play and get along with each other. It's apparently always been where we can learn to work and play. Why are you talking about work? Like, I feel like that's like such a weird theme song for a kid's show. Like, why do they need to learn how to work? What do you mean? No, absolutely not. This was blowing up on TikTok and so many of you guys tagged me in this and I was like, absolutely not. It's always been laugh and play. I swear. Please let me know what you guys remember because I don't vibe with that one. All right, the next Mandela effect I want to talk about. I have not seen anyone talk about this, but I swear Megan the Stallion was like more known as Meg the Stallion. I thought all of her music was like labeled as Meg the Stallion 100%. This one really genuinely confuses me, especially because I listened to Ariana Doja and Meg's 3435 remix a lot. And I always remember saying Meg the Stallion. Like I just thought that that was like, even the TikTok sounds, like when Savage was like trending on TikTok, I swear it always said Meg the Stallion at the bottom, but apparently she's pretty much always been going by Megan the Stallion like in on everything, which I just, am I the only person who remembers it just being Meg? Like, I don't know where I would have gotten that from, but I would love to know if you guys remember that because it's freaking me out. I knew her name was Megan, but I thought that most people referred to her as Meg the Stallion, not Megan the Stallion. 
You know what I mean? Please let me know if someone else feels like this because this one just was another one that just popped into my head one day and I was like, wait, has it always been like that? And it has, so let me know. All right, the next Bandela effect has to do with SpaghettiOs. I don't know if you guys ate SpaghettiOs as a kid, but I did. Well, I didn't, but my sister did. My sister loved like Chef Boyardee SpaghettiOs. Like that was just not my vibe as a kid. We're Italian, so I'm kind of surprised that she was like more into that than like my mom's like homemade cooking, but she was. And I remember so vividly there being a SpaghettiOs can, like a can of SpaghettiOs that has, and I saw this on Reddit, but um, it has like a like caricature, like little animation of a girl who has SpaghettiOs for hair. This has never existed. Like I thought that that was a common, like consistent thing with the SpaghettiOs logo. I thought on multiple of the cans, there were like people or like little drawings of cartoons with people who had like the little SpaghettiOs for their hair. And I swear that this existed, but it doesn't. Um, and it never has existed so please let me know if you guys remember that too because this one really freaked me out and it kind of reminded me of something similar which is the cornucopia on fruit of the loom i want to talk about this and now i'd like to talk about mandela effects that i feel like we did not talk about enough and the fruit of the loom one is one of the ones to me that makes absolutely no sense because when it's like a misinterpreted letter something changes slightly that's fine but when it's something that goes completely missing is when it gets me for example fruit of the loom i always remember the logo having a cornucopia i think majority of people do and it has never had a cornucopia like that's just never existed i just don't understand like where all of our brains would just be getting that from like, i feel like that's one of the mandela effects that i feel like are completely like you can't deny it. And the SpaghettiOs one kind of reminds me of that because it's something that I and so many other people can vividly picture in our heads, but it just doesn't exist. Contrasting like the Berenstein Bears, for example, it's like obviously like one letter is off. So like maybe something in our mind, you know, did that. But when something is completely missing, that's always when I'm like, I think the Mandela effect actually has to be real. Like the robber emoji? How are you gonna tell me that never existed? Why do we all remember it? Like, it makes no fucking sense besides it being like a phenomenon that we can't understand, which is what I think it is. The next Mandela effect has to do with the word every time. I noticed this one kind of a while back. Britney Spears' song and Ariana Grande's song every time is just one word, and I always thought every time was only one word. It's always been two words every space time. If you type in every time, like all one word, it'll have a red squiggle underneath and I dislike that. You now what's another Mandela effect that I swear like I remember so vividly as a kid is the word dilemma. I feel like it always had an N in it, like D-I-L-E-M-N-A and I can't explain that one. I feel like I don't know if people have talked about that one. I don't know if I've talked about that one. I forget. But if anyone else felt like that, please let me know. Because I remember I used to doodle these little drawings as a kid where I would mix, I would match their names with like, like I would write like Emma Dilemma and like draw like a little like cartoon person. Um, and I remember spelling Dilemma with an N. I mean, I could have just been dumb, which is probably true, but please let me know. Anyway, the last Mandela effect that I want to talk about comes from none other than Freaky Friday. So Freaky Friday is one of those movies that I could quote fucking back and forth, like easily. And specifically my friend Paige, honestly my whole friend group, but me and my friend Paige love the movie Freaky Friday. We were always constantly quoting this one quote. So this one quote, I always remember Tess, Jamie Lee Curtis, um, she was a therapist. She was this guy's like therapist every day. I remember him saying like, you're a liar, you lie. 100% I can hear it in my head. Me and my friends quote this all of the time. Like literally all of the time. And it's always actually been. You lied to me, you're a liar. I just hope that someone else can personally relate to this Mandela effect besides me and my friends because my friend Paige was the one who told me about it. She was like, wait, this is like the actual quote. Like how have we been saying it wrong for so long? And what's crazy is I have watched Freaky Friday very recently i've continuously watched it i watch it probably like a few times a year and i've never noticed the fact that like you would think like if you were constantly always like it's an ongoing joke in your friend group to say one specific movie quote 
that if you rewatched the movie and heard the quote, like it obviously kind of like stands out to you, you'd think that I would have like noticed that it was wrong. And that's just never happened. So I'm really, really confused by this. And I hope someone else can relate to this because it drove me and my friends crazy. Cause it's always been, you're a liar, you lie. I really don't like that. Anyways, that is it for today's video. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these Mandela effects. I love filming these videos. So if you guys have any Mandela effects, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear them. I just think it's fun, okay? No one has to take it that seriously. It doesn't have to be that deep. We can just all have fun vibes. I'm here for it and it's okay. But anyway, that is it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram because I'm always posting really dope ass shit on there. Subscribe for new videos every week and I will see you guys later. Bye.